So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Yep. Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. I'm looking for ways to help out. Anything come to mind? What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, uh, forget it. Uh, a personal matter, eh? Handsome guy like you, bet there's a girl involved. You think I'm handsome? Wow. I wonder if she does too. So tell me about this dame. There's an outpost near here. The signs say Crimson Caravan. It seems like they carry things to and fro for people out there. Well, every once in a while, I watch the outpost through one of the spotter's binoculars. And sometimes there's this girl there. This special girl. And sometimes <laughs> it's like she's watching me back with her binoculars. Except she's probably just watching Nellis. I haven't tried waving. Maybe I could talk to you. Tear her for you. What's she look like? Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. Aw. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Aw. Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. <laughs> I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. I'll look into it. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. Hello. You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. I don't suppose you watch the boomers over in Nell sometimes, do you? I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? I've been inside Nell's. There's a young man there who has a crush on you. Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? Uh, he's a special sort of guy. Perfect for a special sort of gal. Ugh, I've just got to meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? Uh, I'll ask Pearl to make an exception for you. This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. All right. How is your visit with us going, stranger? Jack is interested in a girl. Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? She works for the... For the Crimson Caravan. She's with those traders? They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. Come on, Pearl. Think of the joy it would bring Jack. He's in love. You're right. I'd be wrong to deny Jack such joy in his life. He's done right by the tribe many times over. Tell Jack this girl is free to enter, Aww. but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make me regret this decision, outsider. Hey, Jack. I got some good news for you. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? Good news. She feels the same way. She does? You mean it? That's incredible. What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? I spoke to Pearl, but Janet needs a way past the artillery. Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming and not to shoot at her. Okay. Oh, Rangers. Hello again. How's your boomer friend? Actually, I want to talk to you about him again. I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? I got your boomer uniform for you to wear when you cross to Nellis. There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. Hey, Alice. Welcome back. Jeanette asked me to talk to you about releasing her from a contract. Ah, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. Word gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. 
Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Speech. Are you really going to ruin what's supposed to be a time of happiness for? 70 Being sentimental is not how I made the Crimson Caravan so successful. But I'll allow it. Just as once. Janet will be paid what she's owed. Consider it a gift. Yeah. Damn. Just, I am so goddamn slick-tongued. Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? I have missed her pay her what you owed. Free to leave. That's great. I can't believe you went through all this trouble for me. Thank you. Hello. It's Probably great to finally to meet you. Hi there. Well, it's great to meet you as well. I'm glad you made it out here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. <sighs> and you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while so we can get to know each other better? Of course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. Hey. That was... Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Thank you for getting Janet to know us. I've never been so happy in my entire life. 